still trying to get myself used to talking into a camera. Funny how things go. Um, I just gained an extra hour. As, uh, I'd saved up some change to get myself a bottle of wine for Saturday night. And, uh, well, I stuck my thumb out as I was walking down to the supermarket. Got a lift most of the way there, half the way back. More than half the way back. When I got to the supermarket, I normally buy 1.5 litres bottles of Montepulciano di Abruzzo for um, one euro seventy-nine for a litre and a half, and it's my favourite wine actually. For in a, so, uh, you get nicer ones in bars occasionally, but as a something you can rely on, Montepulciano di Abruzzo, Montepulciano di Abruzzo, and. Uh, well, my eyes were straying and I got this handful of change and, uh, oh dear me, five litres, Montepultiano de Bruzzo, um, for, um, six, six, well, 5.99 euro on special, uh, 2016, uh, Denomination Origin Controlly. I had an uh, odd kind of week. Yeah, I'm just rambling. I had an odd kind of week. Um, got bugger all done, apart from finishing off the diddly bow. Pretty much. Which I'm very pleased with. It's come out alright. Some, I'm going to make a video about this. I've, really, I've got to get used to talking to camera. Things that I got wrong, still microphonic that. And the peg. It, it slips. I could do with seeing a violin, to be honest, to see how to do the pegs on those. Just did it guesswork. Uh, but it's good fun. Got a slide that that was from a barbecue set. Now it gets to barbecue weather. I probably should have held on to the barbecue set, but it was a handle from a. Really interesting instrument to play because it's just like the one string. And you're on the slide. So it's really it's, uh, limited but really expressive. One silly thing that hadn't actually occurred to me. Although like, there's no way around it, is that because you've got your string like to be able to slide, you don't want to press the string down too much. Um, but when you're looking at it, because the string's so far off, well, you just get a parallax effect. So I'd made Marcus uh, minor third, fifth octave, minor third, fifth octave. And then, I, not really that much use. Because, like, the parallax means I've got to put that where it looks like way below the fret should be. So it's to fret it, yeah. Then. Um, the other big mistake is the pickup. Fucking microphonic. And I potted the uh, coil in wax. Um, I think it's just the way I've got it screwed together. It needs to be a hell of a lot more rigid. There might be epoxy involved. I think you can see that, like how it's on. It's had two coats of linseed oil and um, uh, turpentine. Uh, well, white spirit. Um, Brought out the grain beautifully. 
Um, but it still doesn't quite fill in the pockets. But I, I love that f the finish it gives it because it, like you get like look at that grain, isn't that nice? Sort of like the wood. The wood is the best. And that's the black bit. That's still the same wood. It's just that I've used that ancient kind of staining technique on it. Neighbours is playing opera, bugger that. Spent about an hour earlier uh, having this thing plugged into. Oh, yeah, that was a mistake as well. If if you make one, you well, if you make one yourself for fun, just do it for fun. But like making the pickup was for a in musical instrument. Uh, it's very low output this, it needs a lot of gain. I've got it quite well shielded, like there's copper foil shielding that and shielding that, but it's low output. I'd be tempted to use, uh, just like, use a, an old guitar pickup. And I'd be tempted to use a uh, machine head of guitar, rather than... Still got that to do, tidy up that thing. So that's one thing I've got done today. What else? Well, this week. What else? Dog walks. Water the garden. That's about it. Oh, a bit of look. Oh! Voted. Good vote. Hey, it's Miss and Dilma we've got down there. Bloody hell. <laughs> I've got to come up with a good tune right, to, to practice on this. Um, I've lost one of my bloody pedals. Maybe I gave it to Julian or something. I mean, it was only a cheap Behringer thing, but it was a, an imitation of a very fancy one that does some digital signal processing to produce an orchestra effect from a single note. And uh, it just really fat kind of wash sound of an orchestra from a... Which would work really well with this, I reckon. Had to redo these to the nut in the bridge. Just uh, off cuts of brass. The copper, I've put a bit of varnish on. Because it do, he just tarnishes so quickly. Ridiculous. Um, and I, I let's just hope the DUP is so obnoxious to enough Tories that it all collapses and like they do end up in finally. Nice day. Go on, have a look at the mountains. Have a look at the cars. Doors wide open. People leave the car doors open at this time of year. It's 37 earlier, 37C. No snow on the Apennines. Apennini. Apennines. Oh, <laughs> these have been on the balcony for ages. I saw them Union Jack bunting. I was going to put them up for uh, one time my mother came to visit, but forgot. I think they came from a Chinese shop. And then I thought, well, if Jeremy Corbyn gets in, I'll put a Union Jack up on the bloody balcony. Comfy chair, amplifier shaving course that I haven't actually used yet. Made it, haven't used it. <laughs> Anything else? Lappy.
cutting to rattle. Oh, that's it. Okay.